Hi friends, welcome to the Rebellus. Friends, I'm going to make a quick recipe today. It's of our Goan sausages. So I'm going to use our Goan sausage to make a small chili fry. And you can eat it, well, you can have it with the breakfast as well, because my dad used to eat it. And I remember he, they, my mum used to prepare it with nice kind of a scrambled egg, but it had the sausages in it. And it tasted lovely, on, and especially on the Sundays. When we were at home, mum used to do it and we enjoyed it. Well, I used to sneak and have a little bit extra, but then mum was fine with it. Uh, so, I'm going to share that recipe today with you. All I'm going to use is a few ingredients, a um, little bit of seasoning to it, and it goes well. I hope you enjoy that recipe. Let me take you straight to that. Hi friends, um, so here are the ingredients. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a quick go and sausage chili fry, but that's how I do so what I use to make go and chili fry is I use potatoes I like, that's like a very medium potato peeled um, and f into fine cubes I've got one ginger and, and a little bit of garlic so finely chopped half a chili or if you want you can add more chili um, it's just sliced um, just chopped um, half a tomato, seed it off and then just um, diced up really fine some coriander over here roughly chopped and I like a nice bit of onion in my chili fry so what, what I did is I added two medium shallots finely sliced finely sorry, finely diced forgive me um, and over here I've got some goan sausages and for the sausages what what I did for these sausages is um, I have placed the sausages in the pan uh, with some water into it and try to get all the fat out of it not the flavor just the fat I know some some argue with the fact that the fat is the flavor but the amount of fat that a sausage releases is you don't need all that as well um, but as long as your the sausage is cured the flavor is inside so um, do it um, the way how you feel is right but um, I just don't like too much fat and oily into the pan so um, here so I've cooked that taken the skin off skin off and the meat inside I've just you know just released it shredded up and put it in a bowl so I'll show you what I do next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need a pan and I'll I put some oil into it and start frying the onions. So let me take you there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some oil to the pan, just a little bit of oil, so they can fry off the um, fry off the onions. So what I'm going to do is first add the ginger, garlic. Ginger, garlic, and potatoes. The reason I'm adding potatoes is I have finely diced it, but what I need to do is um, slightly cook it for cook it a little bit longer so that it cooks off. I don't want it too soft as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry that off. I'm going to fry the onion off. Uh, sorry. Um, ginger, garlic and potatoes for three, three minutes I think three minutes should be perfect so once I've fried off for three minutes um, let me show you what I do next okay now that you now that you see the potatoes are getting they are cooked, so you, what you can do is you just press one. Ah, let me do it. Don't do this at home. Press one. Oh, yeah, it's done. 
So that's okay for me, that's done for me. I don't like potatoes cooked all the way through. I like a nice bit of bite to it. So what I'm gonna do next is, this is my ginger, garlic and potatoes. I'm gonna add the chili chilies to it. Sorry, my Indian accent just jumps in at times. So chilies. So what I'm gonna do is add some chilies to that. And then chuck in all the onion. Okay. And I'll just fry it up for a couple of minutes. So maybe one or two minutes. Remember this is quick, this is a quick dish, so you don't have to you just want the slightly onions to sweat off. But in this dish you can add the eggs to it as well. So some prefer the scrambled egg on the side, so that's why I thought of just making it as a chili fry. But if you need if you like scrambled egg, just add it to it or make your scrambled egg on the side and just have it along for breakfast or maybe just in the bread or roll. So once you do that. Okay. I hope it's nice and bright now. Sorry for that. I completely forgot about my lights. It's been so bright outside. Sometimes you don't need to put your lights up. So, once it reaches to that stage, what I do is just add a little bit of salt to that. A little bit of white pepper. As usual for the description, uh, for, the, for the exact amount of ingredients that I put, it should be in the description. You can check into the video. Okay, and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of turmeric powder. Turmeric powder and chili powder is a bit of our normal in Indian kitchen or even the even in the English kitchen nowadays everyone prefers. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of turmeric powder and a little bit of chili powder. That's it, not much. Okay, mix this up, filter that nicely. And the next thing I'm going to do is add the tomatoes to it. So, tomatoes go in. Okay. And now I'm going to throw in the sausage meat too. So all that sausage meat, you love the smell of it. I love the smell of our golden sausages, especially if it is sun-dried, skewered well, you will just die for at times. But the amount of fat is to all to die for at times. So once you do that, you pretty much chili fry is ready. Burn sausage. You can add as much as sausage as you want. I'm gonna add a few because it's a long way to go back to go up especially with COVID um, and our chili fry is ready I'm going to add the coriander to it mix it up And a gum style chili fry is ready. Just gonna quickly grab the While that's cooking, I'm supposed to use the same thing. Ah, ah. So Got my plate ready over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve it straight into the plate. Um, check for seasoning always. I love my seasoning. It's 
like my face cut. The more it's seasoned, the better it is. Taking all that time and effort to cook something makes sure you season it. Or else you'll just be disappointed. That's what I say. If you don't season it, disappointment is just around the corner. So, sorry for that, it took a bit longer. So there you go. Gowan style sausage meat chili fry. Um, I would enjoy this with the scrambled egg in the morning or scrambled egg just thrown in at the last minute and just taken it off from the heat so it will like keep it into it. Um, I might do a video of it sooner but this one um, I'll keep it simple because this is especially for one of my friend who is watching it right now. So friend if you see this video make sure you do it. This video is just for you. Um, so I just thought of doing it, putting it online. So, till then, see you from the Rebellers. Thank you. Friends, I hope you really like that dish. It's a goat sausage meat chili fry. So, well, if you've liked it, don't forget to hit the bell button. Like, subscribe, share, and just spread it. Ah, got some scruffy hair today. Never mind, as long as it tastes good. So, um, what you can do is please spread the word because it, it helps me. And thank you so much for watching my videos. Till the next time, bye bye from the Rebellos.